And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're taking a look at Flower Fairy. This is from a line called My Very First Games from Haba. Now, Haba's really known for their games for kids. Now, this is for the youngest set of kids. Two plus, I think a more appropriate age maybe would be, say, two to four. Uh, this is a game about stacking blocks and learning about colors and shapes. Uh, let's take a look at it and see what we think. So this is a cooperative game. Players are going to be trying to build stalks of flowers before Rosalina wakes up from her bed and trundles off to the island. On a child's turn, they roll the die. Whatever color they roll, they'll place a stalk of that color. Um, and they roll again. If they roll Rosalina, she moves forward one. And there she moves forward one again. And if you roll a star, you can pick any color and put it on that spot. Now what players are trying to do, if you roll a color that's not that there's no more of, then you just have to pass it to the next player. Players are trying to get all the stalks built. You'll notice I'm missing a blue block because my son has decided it's a fun game to hide it. So we still are on the search to find this block. But when they're finished, you'll put the flowers on top of them, like that, and you win. If Rosalina gets to the island before you do that, then everyone cooperatively loses. On the other side of the board, you have the same thing, except instead of going by colors, you're gonna go by shapes. You'll still go by colors, so here I can take a blue and I could pick any shape I want, and I put it on that particular spot. If I'd pick this blue, it would go on that spot. So it's pretty much the same thing. Rosalina's moving across the meadow, but you are putting the same, on each one, you're going to be putting the same shapes instead. So in this instance, when you get finished again, you put the flowers on. So that's it. You all win together, or you all lose together. <laughs> So that's pretty much it. The game has very chunky components. Uh, it's a lot of fun to play with and build with. I have a two-year-old son, and so he was able to grasp the colors, although it's the kind of game that I would play with him and say, okay, I get the blue. No, that's not the blue. Which one's the blue? And so he's still learning the shapes. The shapes are a little more complex, but it's that kind of game. It's a game where it's like, hey, we'll learn the shapes, we'll learn the colors, the blocks are cool, they're big, they're chunky, they're fun to build with. He spends a lot of time just building with the blocks, as evidenced by the fact that I'm missing one currently. Uh, and then even just as I was getting ready for this review and he was on his way to bed, he stopped by and he wanted to pull it out and play with the blocks again. So there's always that backup plan. If the game isn't good for you and your, your young one, uh, this one is, uh, there, it's, there's some blocks in there to play with. But the game is a kind of a co-op game, and it's not the kind of co-op game where you're like, you lost, kid. It's more like, oh no, the fairy reached the thing, let's start again. And the kid kind of will get into that sort of uh, back and forth. And so, like I said at the beginning, this is for two, three-year-olds, maybe four-year-olds. Not much more than that, but it's, and it's one to three players. It's just a small, kind of intimate style game you can play with the Wii ones, and that's what this is good for. Uh, older kids, they're going to want more decision making, but here you can roll the die, and they even do have other decisions. If you can pick any color you want, which one do you want, and then build them up and build the flowers, and everyone's going to have a lot of fun with that. So that is a good game for the youngest set, Flower Fairy. Dice Tower Judgment approved for the very young ones. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut, Shut the, the door! door. Yeah. Yeah.